All right, this is your boy Jug out with uh, analysis of the one minute video that Guns of Glory made for the new airship. All right, so there was a ton of information in there and there was absolutely no audio. All you could hear was the in-game music, which if you've been playing the game for more than a week or even just a couple days, it becomes a bit annoying, right? So without further ado, this is your boy Jug. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of a breakdown. These screenshots from the really flashy, quick video were sent to me by a good friend named Honey. Honey, thank you very much for supplying me with these uh, screenshots. So if this is your first time on my channel, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and also drop a comment down below. All right, what did you think of my video? What do you think of the new adjustment, you know? So this is the new skin, all right, or one of the new skins that we're gonna get with the airship. And if I had to make a guess based on some of the previous surveys they sent out, you're gonna get your free skins based on leveling up your airship. This is uh, gonna be your level one airship, all right, here, okay? This is gonna be the look of your new airship, and as you level it up, the new airship is going to change. All right, this is also gonna give Guns of Glory an opportunity to sell you a new skin for your airship. You know, so if some of you guys are into customizing the cosmetics of your airship, it's here, you know. For me, I've never really been big on the cosmetics other than the fact that I'm not a huge fan of the look of uh, Castle 31 into Castle 35, okay. Just for a personal preference, I really like everything Castle 36 up and a few of them below that, right. So here it says you're going to be getting precision parts for hitting red guards, threats, and also participating in events. All right, so we previously got these precision parts by buying them in the store, you know, getting these during events, okay? So these, these parts, whether they're gonna convert one for one for the ones we have now, we don't really know, or for the ones that you may or may not have in your inventory, okay? But we do know that some of the parts that you already have for other things are gonna be converted to these precision parts. All right, so with your airship dock, depending on what level your airship dock is at right now, Guns of Glory is going to send you a chest. Okay, what's in that chest we don't know. You know, uh, is it gonna be speed ups? Is it gonna be resources? Is it gonna be something to help upgrade your airship? Again, we don't really know, I mean, Guns of Glory's wording, sometimes, you know, oftentimes it isn't even grammatically correct, let alone it doesn't even really say much, right? So this is just kind of analyzing what they put in there. All right, so here it says they're going to recycle your airship experience, your assault and guardian components, okay? For the same value of precision parts. So when it says the word same value, that all depends on what value guns of glory paces on your airship experience your guardian and assault components we don't really know yet but we do know from previous updates like you know a lot of people were just not not very happy with the conversion you know a lot of people spent real money you know especially when they go into new kingdoms if somebody really wants to make a statement they're pushing their castle level but they're really pushing their airship so hopefully Guns of Glory has taken this into account. All right, so here you have your assault and guardian components, okay? And again, they're gonna convert these into precision parts. So here it looks like this is gonna be the new look of your precision parts. All right, so here it looks like they're gonna be going to a similar route that they're doing with the pursuer equipment, okay? Not the same, but a similar route. Okay, so with the new Pursuer equipment, you get scrolls, right? So now you're gonna be getting precision parts, it says, or a refinement scroll for your assault and guardian components. All right, so here, as you upgrade your airship level, okay, your airship's gonna be given new abilities, new capabilities. All right, so we're gonna be moving right on to the next one. This is that level four. Once you reach a certain level, your airship's going to 
different components, right? So you have your pistons, uh, efficiency burning, and cylinders, all right? So this basically sounds like the engine and transmission of your airship. If I had to guess, this is gonna have something to do with the speed and efficiency that your airship moves, right? So again, the only reason I'm making this video is because it was so hard to see in that one minute flashy in-game music video, okay? All right, so at level five, you're going to be able to get what they call a tactical manual. All right, so this kind of sounds something similar to what we have in our old airship where your abilities are gonna start opening up, right? Your assault abilities that we currently have and the guardian abilities. All right, so in here we have something that a lot of the older kingdom folks have invested a lot of time into. Extra upgraded skills that you get or can get currently on your airship. All right, so I'm talking about bloodthirst, death from above, flying fortress, and happy hunter all right so in order to unlock these abilities you had to run a ton of bounties all right so if you've already unlocked these abilities guns of glory is going to give you what they say is the same value or equivalent of the ability so if you've started collecting these components hopefully guns of glory is going to convert these components into something you can use to now unlock these abilities okay all right so there's not really a whole lot more that we know about the airship right now but what i am going to do is i'm going to leave a couple links to some other videos that i have been watching and i have you know a couple channels that i pay close attention to when i consider the kind of content that i'm going to be making you know i i've previously been paying a lot of attention to koa and Many of you may or may not know that in the past, Guns of Glory has pretty much copy and pasted their game. You know, KOA uses dragons, we use airships in Guns of Glory. All right. But saying that, Guns of Glory has started to veer off on a little bit of a different path. But for the most part, these things seem pretty streamlined, you know. They like to change a little bit so it doesn't look like they're copying, right? Or a little bit so that we can't predict what we need to do in game. All right, so again, I'm going to leave a, a link here. I hope you guys can take, a, take the time to check them out. Uh, a video by Sachin and Gun Muse. This is your boy Jug out with a breakdown video of Guns of Glory's airship adjustment breakdown video. If you guys have any comments questions suggestions leave them down in the comment section below peace